all Caribbean carnivals, they are not built the same. So if you want to hear about Tampa, stay tuned. If you are going to show up to this carnival, which I think you should, don't show up thinking that, you know what, it's going to be on the same level as New York, Barbados, Trinidad, Guyana, Grenada. It's not. For the magnitude the carnival was, there were quite a few food vendors out there, which was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed the food. It was good. I had a blast. <laughs> talking about food and you're talking about Caribbean food and you're talking about Tampa jerk cut is number one hands down they had the best food the best display we had some live music and the music was provided by new generation branch orchestra these people know what they were doing they had the crowd moving the whole time I was there the crew they was very diverse it was a lot of music in there and they never stopped until it was time to go <laughs> Caribbean people that go to these carnivals are trucks. Unfortunately for Tampa, they had two trucks, and those were pretty small trucks. <laughs> was representing real hard with that flag look at that beauty right there overall we had a great experience i would say next time bring your family out enjoy yourself there's lots of food there's lots of music out there and there's a lot of things to do with your kids and your family however it's so once per year that this carnival comes around so next time 2020 comes around just bring your family out enjoy it home you know what i was satisfied tampa did represent but there was one lesson i learned leave bajans at home